The Learjet 60 is a midsize cabin, medium range business jet aircraft manufactured by Bombardier Aerospace in Wichita, Kansas. Powered by two Pratt & Whitney Canada PW305A engines, it has a range with four passengers and two crew of 2,405 nautical miles 4,454 kilometers with NBAA 100 NMI 190 kilometers reserves, ESA. In July 2012 Bombardier Aerospace announced a temporary production pause of the latest variant Learjet 60XR to begin in the fourth quarter of 2012. Topic. Development The Learjet 60 is an improved version of the Learjet 55, with a longer fuselage and more powerful turbofan engines. It first flew on 10 October 1990 and received FAA certification in January 1993. The modifications that converted the Learjet Model 55 into a Model 60 resulted from an aerodynamics improvement program and a need to increase the capacity of the Learjet product line. Several of these modifications were a first for Learjet, including an all-new inboard wing cuff added to the inboard sections of the Longhorn wing and an all-new wing-to-body fairing. By increasing the wing cord and the leading edge droop, the wing cuff improved handling during approach and landing, while the wing-to-body fairing reduced the interference drag between the wing and the fuselage. Since the engines were new for this aircraft, a new engine pylon had to be designed. The lines of the cockpit have not changed but the fuselage was lengthened. In addition, the blend between the fuselage and the empennage was all new. While it appears as if area ruling was the intention of the blending, the blend design was really driven by attaching the original Learjet Model 35 empennage onto the larger Learjet Model 60 fuselage. The final aerodynamic improvements to the Model 60 included the creation of the distinctive ogive winglet trailing edge this lengthening of the cord near the interface of the winglet and the wing improved the interaction of the wing's pressure spike with the winglet's pressure spike the result was a significant lowering of the drag in this area and a significant improvement of the wing's efficiency on the prior longhorn wing the interference between the winglet and the wing nearly cancelled the effects of the winglet the single ventral fin was also replaced with two ventral fins that Learjet called Delta Fins to improve stall characteristics and promote aerodynamic stability. The Learjet 60 is notable for its time-to-climb performance, climbing to 41,000 feet meters in 18.5 minutes at maximum weight. It also distinguished as the last legacy Learjet, using a variation of the wing that designer Bill Lear adapted from the Swiss military aircraft, the FFA P-16. The next generation Learjet was to be the Learjet 85 and was an all-new design by Bombardier Aerospace slated for delivery in 2013. The Learjet 60, while a tremendous performer, also maintains the highest incident, accident rate in its class with most accidents occurring during landing. The use of the original Lear 23 gear and wheels, albeit it with an added brake rotor, bringing the total to three per wheel assembly, left the 60 and the 55 before it notably under-geared and under-braked. According to the NTSB most of these failures are caused by pilot error as the aircraft can be unforgiving. Production of the Learjet 60 ended in 2007 after 318 aircraft had been built. The Learjet 60XR was a variation with upgraded Proline 21 avionics and slight improvements to the cabin, with production from beginning at serial number 319 Bombardier Aerospace. By 2018, a Learjet 60 can be had for $1 million or less. Topic. Learjet 60XR Bombardier launched a new variant in 2005 designated the Learjet 60XR and following certification deliveries started in 2007. Grandfathered on the 1966 Learjet 24 type certificate. It was built until 2013. 
It features three rotor disc brakes, good for 450 to 600 landings. Rockwell Collins Pro Line 21 Avionics, upgraded AHRS and FMS, electronic charts, enhanced MFD, and optional XM radio weather. Cabin space is better utilized with five floor plans, LED lighting, better insulation, and improved cabin management system. The 60XR has the largest Learjet cabin, its cross-section is competitive but its length is 2 to 5 feet 0.61 to 1.52 meters shorter than other midsize jets like the Hawker 800XP. The small 265 square feet 24.6 square meters wing evolved from the Learjet 23, with the tip tanks replaced by winglets, and runway requirements are long for the 23,500 pounds 10,700 kilograms aircraft. A typically equipped 60XR weighs 940 pounds 430 kilograms more than the original Model 60, tanks full payload as 600 pounds 270 kilograms and four passenger range as 2,240 nmi 4,150 kilometers. It climbs to FL 410 in 18 minutes and cruise at 440 kn 810 kilometers per hour TAS with an average fuel burn of 1,300 pounds 590 kilograms h. Long range cruise varies from 387 to 420 kn, 717 to 778 km per hour TAS at FL 350 to 430 and ESA conditions, while normal cruise speed is Mach 0.76 or 436 kn, 807 km per hour TAS. The FADEC controlled 4,600 lbf 20 kilonewtons PW305A turbofans have a 6,000 HTBO and reserves amount to $360 per hour per engine. In September 2018, there were 112 Model 60 XRs in service, priced between $2.5 million for a 2007 model to $4 million for a 2013 one. Topic Operators Topic Civilian The Learjet sixty is used by private operators, companies, and fractional jet operators. Topic Military and Government Argentina 1 Learjet 60XR used by Tucumán government 1 Learjet 60 used by the Jefatora del Estado Mayor Colombia Colombian Air Force 1 Learjet 60 used for VIP transport by Grupo Aéreo de Vuelos Especiales 82 North Macedonia 1 Learjet 60 delivered in April 2005 to replace the lost King Air 200. Used by the government for VIP transport. Malaysia 2 operated by the Department of Civil Aviation Malaysia DCAM Flight Calibration Division. Mexico 1 Learjet 60 delivered for the Mexican Navy. Moldova one operated by Noble Air, used for civilian and governmental VIP transport. United States Six Learjet 60 aircraft are operated by the Federal Aviation Administration to carry out airborne accuracy checks of navigational facilities. Topic. Incidents and accidents On September 19, 2008, a Learjet 60 crashed while taking off from Columbia Metropolitan Airport in Columbia, South Carolina. Performers Travis Barker and DJAM were injured, while four others were killed in the crash. 
According to the Federal Aviation Administration, as the plane was departing the airport, air traffic controllers saw sparks emanating from the plane, which went off the runway, smashed through a fence, crossed a nearby road, slammed into an embankment and caught fire. After the post-accident investigation, the Federal Aviation Administration issued new directives for operators of the Learjet 60 and 60XR aircraft to check tire pressures every four days. This is due to the Learjet 60 models having experienced more than twice the number of tire failure events than the Learjet Model 30 series, and generally have greater vulnerability to damage due to a burst tire than other types of business jets. Topic specifications Data from Brassi's World Aircraft and Systems Directory 1999-2000 General Characteristics Crew, 2 Capacity, 8 Passengers Length, 58 feet 8 in 17.881 meters Wingspan, 43 feet 9 in 13.34 meters Height, 14 feet 8 in 4.471 meters Wing Area, 264.5 feet squared, 24.57 square meters Empty Weight, 14 16,640 pounds, 6,641 kilograms max. Takeoff weight: 23,500 pounds, 10,660 kilograms. Power plant: two times Pratt and Whitney Canada PW305A turbofan, 4,600 lbf, 20.46 kilonewtons. Each performance maximum speed: 522 miles per hour, 453 knots, 839 kilometers per hour. Max cruise. Cruise speed 484 miles per hour fast cruise 536 miles per hour 420 knots 778 kilometers per hour Mach 0.74 long range cruise range 2773 miles 2409 nmi 4461 kilometers service ceiling 51000 feet 15545 meters rate of climb 4500 feet per minute 22 9 meters per second topic see also aircraft of comparable role configuration and era cessna citation 7 gulfstream g150 hawker 800xp